Hey YouTube, Guyans Dispatch here. Man, today you need to have a password for everything. Your email, YouTube accounts, iTunes, and much more. If you constantly forget your passwords to your online accounts like me, or you just need a better way to organize your passwords, this tutorial is for you. Today I have a tutorial about how to use KeePass, a free portable password protection program. You can put KeePass on your flash drive, an iPod, your CD, or an external hard drive. KeePass Key allows you to organize all of your accounts and passwords in one single database with a master password. In addition, KeePass also keeps your password safe with an encryption. Alright, to get started with the tutorial, we're going to open up our internet browser and the address bar. Type in CNET.com, hit enter. The CNET search box. We'll type in key pass with two E's, no Y, oops. Key pass and hit enter. And it should be the first program right here, key pass password safe. And click on download now. And here's our download, so I'll click save. Once it's done, you can click on setup and install the program. Once you're done with that, Open up your new KeePass program. It should look something like this. And to get started, we're going to create a new database. So to do that, I'm going to click on this button right here, New, in the top left. I'll click New. And select a name for a new database. Type an example. When you're finished, just click Save. And now we need to type in our master password. So I already created one for this this, tutor, this tutorial. And I'll right click and copy it. And it's kind of nice because this is, this is the only password that you're going to have to remember. So I'll paste that in right here. And once you're done with that, just click OK. And the default settings are fine, so just click OK again. Alright, and here's our newly created password database. You can see I named an example right here. Here's our folder and our subfolders. They divided it for you into, you know, email, banking, network, or you can just put all your passwords in general. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. But for this tutorial, let's say you just want to want to create a, how about a Hotmail account? You have your little Hotmail account, you want to create a new password entry so to do that you're going to go up here and click on this button at the top and click add entry and for the title I'll just type in hotmail and for the username I'll just put example at hotmail.com and just type in your hotmail address right there and as you can see KeePass has already generated a password for us. So you can also click this button to show or hide the password. So just like that, and I'll show you. Here's your generated password. And to access the password generator, is this button right here underneath the show or hide button. And to gain access to those settings, click on this button and click on open password generator. Alright, here's the our generator settings, and here's the, you can you can change the length of your generated password. So if you just want it, you know, 16 characters, 15 characters, it's up to you, whatever you like. And there's also a menu you can change the types of characters that the password generator uses. So if you want to include minus or underline, whatever you like. Select those settings right there, and when you're done, just click the OK button. Alright, and we're back to our add entry setup. And here's our title, here's your name, example. Alright, the last thing we need to do is here's our little, our little notes section. You can type in any additional information that you want. I'd recommend typing in the answer to your account security question.
memorize another security question again. I constantly forget the answers in my security questions. Very frustrating, but if you just type it in this little notes tab right here, it'll be encrypted along with your generated password and your username, so you don't really have to remember anything, which is awesome. And when you're done with that, just click OK. And our entry is created right here. You can see it. Our little email tab. All right. Let's say you want to uh, you want to log in to your uh, your newly created Hotmail account, and I already created one in this other database. So I'll show you how to log in here. Go back to our browser. Put up a new tab. Go to Hotmail.com. Hit enter. Oh, whoops. Sign up. And I'll click on Hotmail. And I'll bring up KeyPass. Alright, and here's my here's my password entry for my Hotmail account. So to paste it in, I'm going to right click on the entry and I'm going to select copy username. And I'm going to go into the username box and right click and select paste. And then go back to KeyPass, right click, select copy password or control plus C. And we'll paste that into password and hit the sign in button. And there you go. You just logged in at your Hotmail account. You can check your inbox. And there you go. You'll never have to remember another password. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, you can post them in the description box below.